Sports Center. Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. We got a lot of games to cover, so let's get to it. In our first game this week, we had the Giants stroll away with a 14-point win. Steve Foley stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Seahawks pick up their third win of the season. Michael Clayton pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Buccaneers beat the Bears. In the Queen City, Cincinnati, we had the Bengals edge their way to a narrow three-point win. Over at Gillette Stadium, we had the Patriots edge their way to a narrow three-point win. Eagles, Browns. Donovan McNabb calling signals at his own 40-yard line. Rolls, then fires a slant. Look at him go. He could go all the way. 60-yard score. The Eagles go on to win this by the final score of 39-35. to the Vikings racked up over 150 rushing yards in their win at the HHH Metrodome. The Packers won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Redskins. Peerless Price played well despite the loss and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Colts win their fourth game of the year. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Rob Morris sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. It's a broken arm, and the doctors are saying he'll be out for eight weeks. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. This guy might be the biggest loss on this list. A stress fracture in his lower leg is causing problems, and the doctors are saying he'll be out for eight weeks. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. Jimmy Smith is gonna find himself on the shelf, and that will be a major blow to his team. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. Bills, Ravens. Jamal Lewis is taking a look at the defense behind the quarterback at the old 14 yard line. What? There he goes with a beautiful spin. Celebrate a touchdown. The Ravens win this one by the final score of 21 to 13. David, please come to Boston. Nab two touchdown passes and helped his Dolphins beat the Rams. And last but not least, we had the Saints come away victorious. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm gonna toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.